Welcome to the big picture of Bitcoin blockchain. In this chapter, we will try to make sense of blockchain landscape and try to understand its various components at a very high level. So what is a blockchain? Let me start with a simple definition and then we will build upon it. In simple words, it's a digital ledger of transactions that is duplicated and distributed across the entire network. Hmm, doesn't sound that simple. Well, when you hear the word ledger of transactions, the first image that comes in your mind is that of an accounting register having series of transactions noted in it. You know, buy and sell records. Well, it is pretty much that except that it is digital. So instead of paper register, these transactions should be recorded on some software, maybe a database. Well, yeah, I mean, of course, normally you would think like that, but in the world of blockchain, Transactions are recorded on something called block. The first block that was ever created in the history of Bitcoin blockchain is called the Genesis block. And then the second block and then the third block and so on. As of now, while I record this video, 709,777 blocks have been created. So as I said, these blocks are grouping of transactions. And along with transactions, they have header. This header has some metadata along with a summary of all the transactions which is called Markle root. And it also has the hash of the header of previous block. In this way, these blocks are connected to the previous block. And this chain of blocks is called the blockchain. But the story does not end here because we have covered just one part of the definition. It is the ledger of transactions. But the second part is even more interesting and raises so many questions. It is duplicated and distributed across the entire network. Wow. So all the systems or nodes in the Bitcoin network can have full copy of blockchain. Now, if you think about Bitcoin blockchain, these transactions in the blockchain are the records of buying and selling of Bitcoins. If any node can have full copy of blockchain, can't they alter these transactions? I mean, come on, there is no central authority like bank and you are distributing ledgers having transactions information openly to anyone who wants sounds like a horrible idea isn't it well not really in fact this decentralization makes it impossible for anyone to alter the transactions and it is achieved by three layers of security hashing chain proof of work and consensus if you recall, each block in the blockchain has the hash of the header of previous block. So if you alter any block, its header will change because its header has the Markle root of the transactions. This will change the hash of the header. So the subsequent block is no more pointing to the right block. So you will have to change the header of that block also. And because you change the header of that block, you will have to change the header of its following block. So hashing chain makes sure that if you alter any block, you will have to alter all the subsequent blocks. In fact, if you do that, you will create another chain from the middle because when you alter a block, it's a new block. This creates a branch. So in this branch, there are two chains, one which is already there and one which you are trying to create. So out of these two chains, which one will be considered valid? Blockchain has a rule that longest chain wins and smaller chains are discarded. Hmm. Okay, I know what you're thinking. That doesn't sound difficult. I mean, calculating hash and updating all the blocks with new header is not a big deal really. You're right, unless you have to deal with the second layer of security and that is proof of work. When you change anything in a block, that's a new block. And in order to successfully add that block in the blockchain, you need to solve a mathematical problem. This problem is called proof of work. The difficulty of proof of work is adjusted in such a way that it will take approximately 10 minutes to get the solution. So no matter how fast you create a block and new hash, you also need to establish proof of work, which is a time consuming process. If you want to alter a block, which is buried like two or three blocks below other blocks, you are definitely going to lose the race. Your new chain will never be able to keep the pace with the old valid chain and ultimately your chain of blocks will be discarded. Because remember, 
longest chain wins. Even if this is not enough security, the third rule of blockchain is the deal. Consensus. Yes, to be able to add a block in the blockchain, you need to have consensus, which means more than 50% of the nodes should agree. So all these combined rules make it impossible for any hacker to insert a faulty or malicious node in the blockchain. What a robust control without any central authority. So now that we have defined blockchain and we know that for blockchain to grow, new blocks need to be created and propagated across the network, question is who creates the block and why? We use the term mining for creating the block. So the blocks are mined by miners. But why do they mine blocks? Because they are incentivized. Miners get bitcoins when they mine the block. First transaction that they write on the block is binding a predetermined bitcoin value to their own address. They also get mining fee for each transaction that they record in their block. I just use the phrase binding the bitcoin value to their own address. This is one way of defining a transaction. You see transactions on the blockchain give you this very information. How many bitcoins belong to which bitcoin address? So what is this Bitcoin address? Well, it is not your street address for sure. So how it is decided who is the owner of this address, which means who is the owner of this Bitcoin? Well, whoever has the private key, which ultimately created this address is the owner of the Bitcoin value. Okay. And from where this key comes and how Bitcoin address is created from the key? Well, now we are getting into the weeds of the thing and this is the time to pause. Because now we are ready to explore the things in detail. And the next unit is actually about key and address. You are now ready to make a deep dive in the world of Bitcoin blockchain. Hold my code coffee.